Hi everybody, it's Amanda back with Amanda Rose Tarot and we're here today to do another pick a card reading. Um, this was actually a suggestion from um, one of my watchers. Um, they asked, this was, I hope I am not butchering this name. It was uh, Dakey Hangy. So I'm probably not saying that right, but thank you so much for your question. Um, we're doing a third party situation update. So if you find yourself somehow in a third party situation, maybe you didn't want to be there, you don't know how you got there, and you don't know how to get out of there, um, we're going to see what's going on with this person um, and what's going on with you and the energy, uh, maybe some advice for you as well. So this is a third party situation. The cards that I'm using are one card from the Romance Angel deck, um, one card from the Healing with the Fairies Oracle, one card from the Gilded deck, one card from the Gypsy playing cards, and then I've got three cards from the channeled messages from your person deck um, that I handmade. So um, the first reading is going to be this dog and this kitten. So that's the first reading. The second reading is going to be the unicorn. And the third reading is the rose. So I'm just going to give you a minute to focus on which icon you're drawn towards and then we will begin. Okay, so if you chose the first reading, the little puppy and the kitten, let's look at your cards. Okay, so um, the first one is I miss your smile. You are an amazing person. The next one is, I love every inch of you, even your toes. The next one is, you have mad skills. You can do anything in life. I know you don't need me, but please keep me. Okay, so this person does want to be with you. This person, they do love you. They love every inch of you. So let's look at the cards. So you've got the money card. You've got the Ace of Wands. You've got Magic of Nature. And you've got Flirt. Okay. So in this connection with this person, um, it says you are my queen also on that card, which I didn't read. But um, this person, I think that... Um, Financially, they're probably in a good place. I think they're doing well. They could have gained a lot of money. Um, something happened, you know, maybe they have been working very hard or maybe they've gotten an inheritance or they've just had some sort of um, financial reward that's come in for them. Um, it could have been unearned money, it could have been earned money, but I see this person, they're very successful and they're very comfortable. Um, so I think they they do offer security in this connection. So I do think they have been working on that very hard. Um, you've got Ace of Wands. So I think this person, they are very passionate for you. Um, they do have a lot of energy. Um, they feel excited when they are around you. Um, they could also um, want to create, you know, this new relationship with you because aces are about new beginnings. So I feel like this person, they want to create something new. Um, they could want to actually create new life. Um, this card is can be about conception and birth and pregnancy. So I think this person, they have a lot of passion for you, um, even, you know, sexual um, passion for you. And um, they do want the opportunity to have this new beginning with you. Um, and they do have enough so that you guys would be very stable together. And you've got the Magic of Nature card. So this could be that um, 
it could be you or this person are spending too much time indoors. Um, you could be kind of in the hermit mode a little bit um, from this card. And the fairies really want to help you with your issues. So they're telling you to spend some time outside in nature. It can be as little as five minutes. So if you're feeling sad, you're feeling distraught, um, then you need to connect with Mother Earth and be outside in her beauty. Um, she'll help you. She, she may give you signs. So you may get signs from animals, um, from plants. Um, so go get, get yourself outside. Take care of yourself. Get some sun. Get some fresh air. Um, you know, go barefoot. Um, put your feet in the sand or the soil. And... Um, this person, they like your toes, so they want you to get your toes outside um, and be in the fresh air, smell the flowers. Um, there's a lot of flowers here, so get outside, smell the fresh air, smell the flowers, and uh, that's really going to help you. So it could be for you or this person. Um, I don't see any other people in these cards. so. I know that we're asking about a third party situation, but I think that this person, they only have passion for you and nobody else. So if there was a third party, then they could be in the process of breaking up with that person um, because they think you're amazing. They miss your smile. Um, they want you to go outside. They want you to smile more. Um, and. They could want to give you some sort of gifts. Um, and then you've got the flirt card. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. So I think this person, um, this isn't always sexual. Because we do have the ace of wands. But I think it's it goes beyond that. Like this person, um, they want to be playful with you. Like these fairies are here. These fairies are you know, playing with these bubbles. So I think this person, they want to get back that playful energy with you. Um, they, they're excited just to be around you and they think you're an amazing person. Um, and they just want to be with you and maybe they want to hold hands or they just want, you know, that eye contact. Um, they just want to make you smile and they want that friendship back with you. Um, they enjoy being around you and they just want to revive that, that passionate spark that you guys probably used to have. So um, it doesn't have to be, you know, having sex. Um, these people, they're just, you know, looking in each other's eyes holding hands, you know, just sitting really close together. Actually, they're outside, so maybe this person wants to take you someplace outside where you guys can reunite and you guys can, um, you know, be passionate, bring that passion back in this connection because I feel like it has gone away. Um, but I don't think that this is a third-party situation. Um, they miss you. Um, it says, I miss your smile. You are an amazing person. I love every inch of you, even your toes. They want you to go outside, maybe with them, barefoot. Um, and they, it says, I know you don't need me, but please keep me. So it could be you that had the other person and they don't want you to choose that other person. They want you to choose them. Um... And they really miss you. So um, it would be a good idea to choose this person if you are the one that has a choice. Because I feel like they really, um, they see the good things in you. And they kind of, they want to provide for you. They want to be that stable person in your life. So you can really trust this person is what I feel. So that is the first reading. Okay, the second reading, if you chose the unicorn, let's read your personal messages first. It says, Sweetheart, God was showing off when he made you. You are so beautiful and smart. That's nice. Um, I won the jackpot with you. Even when you are grouchy, I love you. Okay. 
and then we got I love the way you think are you for real so this person um, they really love you they love the way you think they love you when you're grouchy they love you um, no matter what you know they think that God um, was showing off when he made you you've got the judge card You've got the King of Pentacles, so it could be Earth sign. You've got the Inner Child. And you've got Codependency. Okay. So with this particular third party situation, um, I do think this person has, um, they have a choice to make. They have decisions to make. They could be weighing the pros and cons. I think they're soon going to have to make a choice. If they don't make a choice, then the universe is going to make a choice for them. So um, fate will come in and faith w fate will make a decision. Um, just make sure that you are the one um, who is, you know, um, has humility, who is humble, who is um, the person who hasn't done anything wrong because it's not going to go in your favor um, if you aren't that person um, who has humility. So make sure that you are the one who is not pushing people away um, because it's really not going to serve you in the long run. Um, so really soften yourself and your approach. Um, I feel like this person, they could be kind of young, they could be kind of naive, they could be kind of proud, they could be kind of arrogant, and um, they need to become more self-aware of what they're doing because, yes, maybe they're boastful, um, they're proud of what they've built up, but I think it's approaching like arrogance and this person, some people could see them as like a narcissist. Um, they need to work on building up others rather than, um, you know, watching others fall. Um, I don't know why I'm channeling this, but I feel like this person, they need to stay humble. Um, they need to... Um, you know, just be a good person, and um, it's just the little things that really matter in life, and um, be able to look at yourself and be proud of who you are, not worry about looking silly or looking humiliated, um, you know, being so caught up in your ego that you're afraid to look bad or look stupid. It's learning how to apologize and admit when you're wrong. Um, so I feel like this person, they may have done something wrong and they're having a hard time admitting it, um, but they need to. They need to admit that what they did was wrong. They need to make a decision to move forward. Um, they need to stop pushing people away because it's not serving them. It's not helping them. Um, this King of Pentacles, you know, he is a person who has been fortunate. He does have um, finances. He's financially secure. Um, but sometimes he has trouble. Um, you know, he's very stubborn and uh, he's slow to proceed. So he could just be um, not proceeding at all. You know, he, I feel like he's not He's not moving much. Um, he hasn't made up his mind yet. Um, and I feel like he's just being silly. He's being silly. And if he waits too long, then um, fate is going to take the wheel. And, and it may not go in his favor. So I, I feel like um, despite the fact that this person does want to proceed with you, because he thinks you're beautiful, you're smart. Um, this person loves you, but I think that they're, they're very stubborn, they're very egotistical, they're very proud, and um, they need to be more humble. They really need to be more humble. And don't think that they are 
unteachable. They're unable to learn anything. Um, they really need, this person needs to self-reflect um, on the way they've been acting. They need to be self-aware of the way they've been acting. Um, we've got the codependency card. So I'm feeling like there's some problems here. Um, addictions um, could be affecting this connection and this really unhealthy behavior. So it could be substances, it could be um, drugs, it could be alcohol, um, it could be um, being around a person who just twists you up in knots that just, ooh, just pushes your buttons and um, it's impacting your life. It could be impacting your health. Um, it could be something you've learned. This person has learned in childhood. Um, maybe they had an addictive family member or there were addictions in their, um, when they were growing up. Maybe it was a learned behavior, but they really need to resolve this unhealthy behavior. It could be actually pushing people away um, and not softening yourself. Um, you know, not being able to look silly or, you know, feel humiliated. Um, admit that you're wrong and argue. I feel like this person may argue and it's really something they need to heal. And then we've got inner child. So if you're feeling, you know, frustrated by this person, you're feeling grouchy um, about this person, um, I think you need to focus on your inner child. Focus on yourself. Um, be patient. Um, you are growing. You are maturing. Um, but take time for yourself to let go of any worries. Just like a child. Like um, Children don't think about the future. They don't think about tomorrow. They think of today. And they think of enjoying themselves. So I think you need to get back that childlike um, energy, be patient with yourself, um, give yourself positive feedback, just say that I am lovable, you know, I love myself, God created me the way I am, and um, I'm a beautiful person. So I feel like you could feel a little bit rejected by this person. Um, I'm getting emotional, so I feel like um, as an empath, I think a lot of you out there are emotional about this connection. Um, and with the question, are you for real? I don't think that you believe in this connection. You don't believe that this can work because maybe this person hasn't showed you that it, it is going to work because they, their unhealthy behaviors are pushing you away saying the opposite of what they really want or you know just being so caught up in their pride um that they just can't you know they can't do it they can't proceed so i feel like there is some there's some healing that needs to um go on there's some maturity that needs to be um happening like growth before this can proceed okay and last but not least, if you pick the rose, let's look at your personal messages. Your lips are so kissable. You are a great kisser. Okay. I love making you laugh. You are my best friend. Aw. And your mind is just as sexy as your beauty. I love you. That's nice. Okay, we've got the marriage card. We've got the six of cups, looking very good. You've got detoxification. And you've got wedding. Okay, so we've got the marriage card and the wedding card. So if this is a third party relationship, I feel like... um. Marriage is somehow involved. It could be that this person really wants to marry you. Or maybe they are already married for some of you out there. Um, 
but I think it's you that they want because we've got the six of cups. So um, if they are married, then I think it it's not working. Um, if you, they are not married and you are not married, then they want to marry you. So it's going to, there's different people watching, so it's going to, you know, go different ways. Um, with the detoxification here, I feel like, um, there's some kind of cleansing that's needed. Um, it could be, uh, your body that needs to be cleansed. It could be your environment that needs to be cleansed. Um, it could be your mind that needs to be cleansed, or it could be your heart that needs to be cleansed. Um, but whatever it is, you really need to work on doing that right now, um, because that's going to help this situation. Um, it could be harmful cravings for a substance. It could be, um, the food that you're putting in your body, um, all of these habits that you have that are harmful, which I'm sure you know which habits you have that are harmful. We all have some sort of habits that aren't good for us. So it could be your environment um, that you're living in. Um, it could be anything, but just know that, you know, for you to bring these healthy situations in your life, um, you're really going to need to change that. And if you're not able to do that by yourself, then ask God, ask the fairies, ask the angels to help you with that. Because that's the main thing that I think is the problem in this connection. Um, with detoxification, it could be a person, um, you know, using substances to try to numb the pain of their heart. They could be using food as you know, a way to fulfill themselves or alcohol as a way to fulfill themselves. Um, it's, it's some sort of healthy, um, unhealthy thing that they're using to make them happy. Could be you or it could be this person or it could be both of you. And with the Six of Cups, I really do think that, um, you guys have put in a lot in this connection. I think that there was a lot of effort previously. Um, and you will be rewarded for that. You know, God will reward you for the effort that you put in. So emotionally, you could have put a lot into this person. This could be a former lover. This could be a former friend. Um, but remember what's important in life. Um you know, and just stuffing down these feelings isn't really going to make them go away or numbing your feelings isn't going to make them go away. So you need to really look at what's important in your life and really work on fixing it. Um, so figure out what really does fulfill you, what's really valuable. Um, and I feel like the past is going to be coming back and uh, this person's going to be in touch with you soon. And I feel like this person, you guys have a lot of happy memories together. Um, so for a lot of you, it could be that this person comes back and they've healed themselves. They've somehow become aware of their mistakes. And uh, they're coming back. They realize that the old way that they were acting really wasn't serving them. And so they're back and they want to make a commitment. Um, marriage somehow plays a role in this connection. Um, for you, those of you out there who are wondering, will I get married? Will I ever have this commitment? Um, maybe you've had a lot of relationships that failed and, you know, it could have been you that was to blame. It could have been the other person to blame. It could have been both of you together. Um, but I feel like um, this is just validating that you are lovable. There will be someone who is going to be there um, to help you heal, to support you. And, um, you know, you guys will both be able to um, talk, sort out your feelings. Um, this person will be willing to love you. So if someone is un unwilling to love you then maybe it's best to let them go. And when they're ready to come back, when they're healed, 
um, they will come back to you. So the angels are supporting you. God is supporting you. They're validating that you will have a happy relationship. Um, you know, there's two validations here. So even if this third party situation, um, you know, doesn't work out, I feel like somehow the tables are turning and all of a sudden this person could want you back. Um, they could have acted Im impulsively when they left and I feel like they're regretting that, you know, because um, with these personal cards, it says, I love making you laugh. You are my best friend. So I feel like this person, they really do feel like it's more than just, um, you know, sexual. I feel like this is a deep connection. Um, so I feel like the, the tables are going to turn in the situation and it could surprise you. This person comes back, they've grown, they've matured and, um, they're ready to, make that decision to um, commit long term. So maybe this person, they are having a hard time, um, you know, committing. And that was why they ran away. But now they're definitely ready to commit. So um, thank you for um, Daiki. Thank you so much for um, requesting this pick a card. I really had fun doing it. And uh, know that these situations do look promising. So whichever one you picked, um, looks really good. So if you would like a personal reading, then head on over to my Etsy page. I have the link below. You can also email me. It's amandarosetarot at hotmail.com. And I'm definitely willing to help you guys out in your situations, whether it's a third party or um, something else. I'm definitely willing to help you out. So love and light, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.